Hello YouTube, my name is Still Abstract Hero, and welcome to another one of my Monster Hunter World build set video. Today I bring you what I like to call the Blast Knight build. Another one of my most strongest builds, and definitely one of the coolest looking builds that I have. Now once again, this build is not revolved on maximizing your damage, this is revolved on maximizing your elemental damage, mainly focused on Blast. Now without further ado, let's continue on and look at the build. Once again, I'm going to press that options button, go my equipment info, and I'm going to show you what I have. Now, the weapon that we're utilizing for the Blast Knight belt is the Teostra's Emblem. As you can see right here, gives you a flat out 266 attack. Really good into sharpness, you know, just a little bit of handicraft will put you well above into that white sharpness. Once again, I like to max out my white sharpness for it. It gives you no affinity loss, which is really good, and gives you a flat out 240 blast. Now, we keep going down, have that Dragon King eye patch. With that weakness exploit, the Zoro Hide will give you that blast attack and that chest piece for the weapon. The Zoro Claws, which is going to give you a pretty useless skip, but we need it for the skill set bonus that I will explain later on in the video. It's going to give you that Zoro Spine we're going to utilize in. Once again, it's going to give you Fortify. Now, Fortify to me is not really a good ability, but if you do happen to die a lot, which... Let's be honest, it's Monster Hunter World, we will die. This Fortify ability will come in handy once in a while. Going down once again using that Death Stench Shield. Probably one of the best boots that you can get in the game. Gives you that level 2 into Handicraft. I'm using that Handicraft Charm level 3 because I personally love to have my Handicraft fully maxed out. So I don't have to sharpen. But this one right here is something that you can pretty much change out if you want to. If you want to put the Attack Charm here and put an Attack uh, Decoration in, by all means do it. Uh, you're going to use Dismantle once again. It's going to increase that build up time, allowing you to use Blast even more often than you're already going to be utilizing it. That Rock City Mantle, once again, it is just easy mode when utilizing Rock City Mantle, so I tend to use it for all my builds. Now, we're going to go right into our skill info. As you see in the skill info, the first thing we have is that Zoro Magnaros Mastery. Now, I'd say that this is a must for the Blast Knight build because we want to be utilizing and push out our Blast attack as much as we can. As you know, with Sword and Shield, you attack very quick, so a Blast will proc quite often. So, it increases your abnormal status effect damage. Paralyze, po paralyze, poison, sleep, and blast when landing critical hits. We have a high crit chance with the weakness exploit, that 50% at the weakness spot, so you will be hitting that blast quite often. Level 5 into handicraft. Now, this is all personal preference, like I said it before. You do not have to have it. Uh, honestly, you can change this handicraft, the charm, and you can put critical eye charm to increase your critical damage. Uh, actually, I actually would recommend doing that because honestly, as you see later on, what I'm utilizing, so you can honestly just change this real quick. Go to Handicraft Charm, and you're going to put in the Master's Charm. Now, as you see right here, now my crit chance is at a flat 20%, with Weakness Exploit going to give you at a 70%. Now, the reason why this is something that you can utilize if you are really good at focusing and always sharpening your weapon when need be, you can utilize that. And the reason I say that you can utilize that, as you see in the next page before we go into the other ones, I have protective polish in this build. So with that protective polish, as soon as you hit that white sharpness, you don't really have to worry about anything else. Utilize protective polish to maintain that white sharpness for a whole minute. Now moving right along, you're going to have that blast attack fully maxed out. You're going to get two pieces from the chest piece, and I do have one decoration that I'm going to put into my gloves. Once again, full weakness exploit level 3 to just increase our affinity chance. Handicraft level 2 or 5, your personal choice. That free element and ammo build is pretty much useless, but it's what you're going to get from the gloves to get that set bonus, so that's what we have to do. That critical boost is going to increase the damage dealt by your criticals by 30%. Again, this is something that you don't have to use. I personally like using it just to increase my damage that I do out forth. And fortify, once again, it's not something that you need. Now overall, you're going to see that this weapon does quite a bit of damage, it looks cool. It focuses on blast attack, not your raw attack, but it gives you that 287 attack at the end. It gives you right into white sharpness if you just use the two piece from the death stench heal. It gives you that 20% affinity if you use that master's charm, and it gives you about 300 elemental, pretty much maxing out your element. 
of it so you don't really have to go any higher than that I think 300 is the cap if you can put one more decoration in you're just gonna go over now that is my blast night build I quite hope that you like it um, you're gonna see in a little bit that I'm gonna show you this little clip of me doing damage and how it actually affects now I would show you on this post right here but for my testing phase it looks like blast or any element that doesn't actually proc when we're hitting this so it doesn't really do, do anything for me showing you my build on this. So I'm going to show you a quick quest that I did. About 4 minutes and 2 seconds of one of the event builds. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed that clip. Once again, I am Abstract Hero. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my contact. I'm trying to push out more and more to you guys so we can build a really strong community in Monster Hunter World. Also check out my stream if you want to watch me play live. Thanks again guys, and I'll catch you later. Till next time. Peace.